Hi, and welcome to March edition of the uh, community call. And this is actually uh, spotting the mistake. <laughs> March uh, 21st, uh, 2024. Um, uh, welcome to the community call. Your host today, uh, today is uh, again Tobias Schwarz, just like in the last two ones. I'm the solutions engineer at Ignite. But I also have uh, Michelle Leach, who has been hosting uh, the calls previously as well. Um, with me in the call, she'll be supporting me. And um, as she already indicated uh, before we started the recording, it's a community call. We are here to help you. We are here to showcase your app if you want to and uh, give you updates on uh, what's happening around Ignite and what new features you can use. Um, so feel free to raise your hands if you have questions to um, or if you want to correct me if I'm saying something wrong or uh, present um, your own use case, what you're working on with Ignite, and if you're struggling at any point. So um, yesterday, we have released the new CLI version 28.3.0. Why this is a milestone for us, I will explain uh, in more detail throughout this call. We have put a lot of efforts into Ignite apps. We have a very um, helpful new app, which is the Ignite app Wasm. Which enables your, um, which can enable your chain to create uh, Cosm Wasm smart contracts, which are most of the time written in Rust, but not necessarily. Um, we allow you to build your own interchain security uh, chain. You can scaffold consumer chains, or you can use Ignite to um, to have it as your host chain, where um, where the consumer chain then will connect to. And uh, we have already had great community contributions in the last, last month that I would love to highlight. Let's first look into the version 28.3. So you will find this on um, github.com, Ignite, CLI, and usually you just click on, on the right-hand side. Oh no, I'm, I went one step too far. Usually on the right hand side, you will see the latest releases. You can browse previous releases or look into what's happening with uh, 28.3. And um, as already indicated, um, you you can now scaffold a new chain and make it a consumer chain with interchain security. Interchain security leverages uh, the IBC protocol in order to allow several chains to share the same validator set. I will explain this a little bit more in detail uh, later on. Um, although you have to be aware that this uh, feature right now needs to be considered experimental because we are using the Cosmos SDK version 0 0.50 and um, onwards with our uh, current Ignite version. So if you scaffold a blockchain, you will use Cosmos SDK version 0 0.50 and onwards. And uh, interchain security is not 100% yet compatible with this version, so we are um, ahead of the curve, let's say you're experimenting with features um, that uh, are still being implemented for every other chain out there. And um, you can best battle test it together with us, or you can uh, just experiment and see um, how this will work out, or if you are interested to build your own consumer chain. Um, uh, apart from that, um, Ignite CLI is now full compatible with the Ignite Wasm app. So we have um, or especially shout out to Danilo from the team who has made the implementation for the Wasm app. And this allows you to, um, after having scaffolded a chain, um, you can install this Ignite app, and then you will have a new command available for your Ignite CLI. You will have the Ignite Wasm command in your terminal. And um, you will install it, Ignite app install minus g uh, globally, and then you install the ignite slash app slash wasm. And then uh, you can use the wasm um, command within your CLI. So you CD into your blockchain that you've already scaffolded with um, ignite, but it needs to be scaffolded with uh, 28.3 because then you will have all the great wiring that enables this feature. If you have scaffolded a chain with a previous version, it will not work. So please be aware use version, if you want to use this feature, scaffold the chain with version 28.3, and then add the wasm to your chain. So you CD into your chain and you type ignite wasm app, uh, add. 
Um, there's a little bit of um, there's a little tricky situation. So usually we expect you to ignite scaffold a chain, and then you might run ignite chain serve. Um, and if you have done that, ignite wasn't add will just work out of the box. But if you haven't, you might need to run also ignite wasn't config. Um, this is uh, a little bit of, of a workaround that I can't explain perfectly. I think uh, Danilo could explain this much better. Just be aware that this situation exists. If you haven't run it with ignite uh, chain serve, then you might have to run ignite wasn't config as well. Um, after that, your chain is ready to go and use Wasm. Um, we are creating a couple of tutorials for you. Um, Wasm is a very uh, unique feature that has been developed by uh, Confio and is taking uh, the Cosmos ecosystem um, like a storm, more or less. A lot of chains use different ways to integrate uh, um, smart contracts with Wasm to their chain. Um, and I think I'll explain a little bit more detail um, how you make use of the whole ecosystem and how you can, um, what's the easiest way to, to play around with your first smart contracts on the chain, but we'll get to this later. Um, something I would really love to highlight also today is a community contribution. This one comes from Edmona. Um, if you follow us on uh, Twitter, you've probably already seen this. Edmona has created a UI for uh, Ignite, which is amazing. He's um, He's, he has used the Electron um, framework so that you can run this on your uh, local computer, have a UI and scaffold with just clicks. So you don't need to necessarily use the CLI to do that. Most um, devs are very con familiar with the CLI and not bothered by it, but having a overview of it and having a UI, I think makes a lot of sense is extremely helpful to a lot of devs going forward. Um, I think it's um, it, it works great. Um, feel free to try this out. Feel free to give feedback to Admoner and make this um, app even better. Uh, and um, I think he has even made this uh, MIT license, so you're free. Uh, so you're very free to um, to try to help to uh, fork this or, um, or or help Admona or or the Ignite community to build uh, better blockchains. So shout out to Mona. Thanks a lot for uh, making this public. Thanks a lot for making this very free license. And um, yeah, really looking forward to what the community do that, uh, does with this, how uh, how people build with this. Would be great to see some people using this as well and uh, giving feedback on, on how this works for you. Um, you'll find the, yeah. Um, I will post this link since someone showed interest. I'll put the link to the chat so uh, you can check this out. Um, we have made a lot of uh, progress. I've already talked uh, about Ignite apps on the latest call. I've shown you uh, the Blocky app that I've developed um, for educational purposes and for fun. And uh, I hope you will do the same and build amazing apps that might help other developers understand blockchains better or maybe even uh, scaffold amazing features. So we are actually trying to build the whole uh, Ignite app ecosystem as openly as possible so everyone can build their own app. And uh, hopefully we have a lot of helpful apps um, that either expand your Ignite CLI capabilities or um, with educational content so uh, developers understand much better what they're looking at or how their blockchain works, how to improve their blockchain. So I, uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, what you're going to build with this. Um, today, we'll uh, certainly look into the Wasm app by Danilo. Um, we are hoping to see more IBC apps that, so that you, um, because IBC is obviously kind of the core centerpiece around uh, the Cosmos ecosystem. We're expecting a lot of different chains, modular chains that each have uh, different purposes, different uh, ways of trying to solve problems. And all of those chains can uh, connect with IBC, which is an amazing technology, in my opinion. So I'm really looking forward for, to people uh, build also IBC apps so that uh, IBC becomes much more simpler to use. So let's uh, look a little bit into uh, interchain security with Ignite. What is interchain secu security? How does it work? How does it fit in the ecosystem? And what alternatives are out there as well? Um, so first of all, I would uh, suggest uh, you can look into the interchain security documentation. There, um, a lot of people have uh, put in, uh, have put great effort into uh, explaining how interchain security uh, exactly works, uh, works from basic concepts, how to start, uh, how to get started building with interchain security, 
um, how key assignments work, uh, how reward distribution on um, separate chains work, um, and so forth. So uh, check out the interchain security documentation um, in order to really understand what this is all about and uh, dig into all the details. Um, with Ignite, you will be able to uh, scaffold consumer chains and your Ignite chain can also be a provider chain. Um, how this, uh, this is actually quite simple to use. Where did I have the, um, the release pack? Um, in here, you can see a scaffold a consumer chain using the command Ignite scaffold chain. And then you just add the dash dash consumer flag in order to create a consumer chain. What exactly is this consumer chain? So the Cosmos Hub, for example, um, I would say one of the biggest um, blockchains with um, written with uh, the Cosmos frameworks. It was the first, and it was uh, it's it's the mo most robust for the last six years, um, and it's it's intended to be the hub of the whole inter uh, chain blockchain world. And uh, Cosmos Hub is a um, is a provider chain. That means. Um, it has a set of validators, and every consumer chain can then create their own modules, their own um, their own logic, and um, make a proposal on the provider chain to be adopted as a consumer chain. And if it's accepted um, by the stakeholders of the provider chain, then all validators uh, will be forced to also run this consumer chain, or else um, they would have the typical slashing risk if they would ignore running this consumer chain. This means. Uh, the provider chain gives the security um, from the validators and uh, the consumer chain makes use of the exact same set of validators. There's a couple of different concepts how this could be approached. This is uh, the interchain security is not the only one. Um, with internet interchain security, how it currently works is the whole set of validators uh, needs to needs to be running the consumer chain. It's a bit um, it's a bit more loose because they say only the, the top 80% of the chain does actually need to run the consumer chain. The bottom 20% um, is, is optional in order, of, um, this has, well, both mon monetary reason, but also um, validator sets change frequently, especially um, in, in the lower ranks because there's a battle of who's, um, who's allowed to be into the chain and therefore, um, you wouldn't expect these validators to already have the whole consumer chain um, set up, but um, they can join the set and start setting up all the consumer chains and kind of rise in the, in the set and then uh, be, be robust, but then also um, they need to run the consumer chain. There are different approaches on interchain security. One is a pure, uh, a more opt-in approach, like with the bottom set of a blockchain. Please tell me uh, if I'm going too fast through this feature or if something is unclear. Um, so the the different module model for interchain security instead of everyone has to run the consumer chain would be opt in. Each validator has the choice if they want to run the consumer chain or not. And a much more flexible model um, has been invented by the Osmosis team um, in combination with the Confio team, as far as I'm aware, and uh, also the Juno team back in the days. Um, those three joined together in order to create uh, the mesh um, mesh security concept, which would mean if pe people could, let's say, let's take Atom, uh, the Cosmos Hub as an example, and someone with IBC send uh, some pure example. I don't want to um, want to make any advertisement, but people would send, let's say, Osmosis to the um, Atom uh, Cosmos Hub, and then they could stake on. Uh, on the Cosmos chain, their osmosis, and uh, there could be validators kind of offering this service that um, with those state IBC tokens, you'd also secure the osmosis chain. And this is what uh, um, mesh security intends to do. I don't think um, it's ready yet. Um, so if you want to if you want to read more about mesh security, um, you should go into uh, github.com osmosis labs and there is a repository about mesh security. It um, explains the architectural documentation. So feel free to read this to understand more about mesh security if that interests you. Um, right now, I just want to give you an overview of diff different concepts. Maybe it puts interchain security and how it works a little bit more into perspective. Um, so feel free to, um, to check out the code at the latest date. And um, if you 
if you consider using this. Um, I think it's very like the latest release indicates this is uh, still very much alpha software and, and more in a brainstorming phase um, against interchain security, which is currently in production and uh, battle testing itself. Um, any questions on this topic before I uh, continue with Wasn? I don't see any raised hands or any questions. So um, let me continue on uh, Cosm Wasn. Um, I've already briefly uh, showed you how you would add this to your chain. Um, and I think I would love, um, I would like to continue after adding Wasm to your chain. Um, you want, you will want to write a smart contract, upload the smart contract, and then use the smart contract. Um, in the next two weeks, uh, we will publish much more educational um, content around how to do all this. So, um, small teaser, we'll um, launch a platform with a bunch of tutorials that will uh, show you all features of Ignite, but also very um, a couple of tutorials and educational content very focused on Cosmosm and how to create your own chain with Cosmosm and then um, and then integrate your first smart contracts. Right now, I would lo um, love to give you two uh, resources. One of them is um, the Academy um, of uh, Cosmosm. So they've uh, taken a lot of time to uh, to create the um, Cosmosm Academy. In here, you can um, you can learn how to write smart contracts. Smart contracts in the in this Cosmos uh, in this uh, context, especially uh, with the Confio team, are written in Rust. The idea behind WASM WebAssembly is that it, you can potentially run um, write smart contracts in nearly all the programming languages available. Um, the Cosmos ecosystem and Confio has chosen Rust because it's extremely uh, strictly typed and therefore very secure to use uh, to write smart contracts. You can't really do many mistakes. The programming language will stop you doing mistakes. Um, and therefore, it's very helpful that you know the code works as intended when you're writing a Rust, and um, and and this academy will run you through um, learning Rust in the first place, and then um, also working on front ends if you wanted to do that, but develop your own smart contract and apps, um, and how to learn different concepts. So. What I find amazing is um, that the Confio team has put a lot of efforts into not only giving you the framework to write Rust smart contracts, but also they have written smart contracts that are ready to use. Um, in the Ethereum ecosystem, you might know Open Zeppelin, who's written a lot of standards that you that are battle tested, that it, that you're free to use. And in this case, this is very much translatable to, um, the, for example, CW plus re repository in the Cosmosm ecosystem. In here, um, you'll have a CW20, which is um, very um, aligned with the uh, ERC20 token, where you can create a smart contract that allows you to create your own tokens uh, on top of uh, these smart contracts. But there's also a lot of research within the Cosmos ecosystem about DAOs or about um, DeFi applications. And uh, I think this would be the greatest starting point to understand how to do a lot of things from uh, multi-signatures, groups, um, staking, CW20, and much, much more. And, the, and these smart contracts um, in here, you can fork them, you can immediately use them, upload them to your chain, and um, maybe even have an open source ecosystem where you can uh, kind of fork some open source front ends for, for these different con uh, contracts. But um, yeah, I'm very excited uh, to be working with uh, these contracts and with you on these topics. Um, we'll provide a lot of tutorials, but I'm sure on Discord we'll have amazing discussions around um, smart contracts and uh, the Rust programming language and um, how all this works together. So I'm really, really looking forward. The release yesterday only enabled us to really go forward with this and, and makes it work perfectly for every chain that has been scaffolded with Ignite version 28.3 and forward. So um, yeah, let's make the best of it. I think it's an amazing technology um, that we are tapping into and it will open up a lot of use cases 
uh, for Ignite Builder. So this is something I'm um, I'm really excited about. Um, yeah, this is actually our last month. We have uh, put a lot of efforts to um, make it uh, possible for you to use interchain security to uh, to make the app framework for Ignite much more robust, but also bring the Watson app to you to enable uh, smart contracts on your blockchain. Um, this is for us the last month. Um, the updates um, are more or less now through. Um, I hope you're as excited as I am about these updates. Um, it's not many, but it's very two very powerful updates. Um, so I think this will bring you a lot of features and uh, a lot of innovation into the Ignite community. Any questions, Michelle? Yep, there was something I wanted to share because I think the community member, uh, Raul, couldn't join. Um, it was about, and I think it also relates to the creator of the the GUI UI. Um, I will share here. It is related to um, the work they are doing around um, a burn module. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to highlight it because uh, Raul actually couldn't end up joining the call uh, to talk about it. So I thought I would share it. Yeah, um, I, I'm quickly answering to the question about uh, the materials for Cosmosm learning. So these two um, links uh, should should um, can be very valuable for you trying to uh, write smart contracts. And on um, Raul from Discord, um, I think I should bring this up. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Can you remind me which channel this is, Michelle? Oh, I shared the link. Uh, yeah, I can use the link right now. Uh, okay. It is in the modules channel. Modules. Okay, I will um, show this. Um, the team um, from Raul and Admona, Admona who has built the UI, they've created a new module, which, um, which is a burn module. And they are also putting this into uh, discussions for review and for for more ideas around this um, it attends to as far as i'm aware uh make it possible to uh mint tokens and burn tokens and i think it was inspired um also from our tutorials um the interchain decks that has uh, lucas has written a um, couple of years ago where we also have a similar feature but they have kind of put a lot of more effort to kind of singular this feature and make it available for everyone. So I think it's um, it's a great idea to do, and um, they've they've done a great implementation. So really, shout out, um, good job on this. Um, yeah, for everyone who wants to use this, I think it's uh, quite free um, to check the code uh, to read through this, how to uh, create and burn tokens uh, within a module. And speaking of, Raul just joined. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, welcome. Yeah, I was just talking about. Um, your module. Hey, hello. Sorry, I just come from from a travel, so uh, I'm, I'm a bit late. <laughs> Would you like to um, explain more behind the uh, burn module? Uh, yes, yes. This is a, a feature that uh, we want to in, to include in the. In the app from from China Go, and we are uh, always uh, checking the, the the future development development of the SDK, and always waiting and waiting for that for a uh, standard for a standard model or function. But uh, we 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 check that the, in the SDK zero fifty one is. Fully, fully developed and is very good. Is it seems to be great. Um, but anyway, <laughs> we want to to try to try and test and explore, and we don't know if we are going to to move to SDK zero for uh, fifty fifty one as quick as we do in the past with with other versions. So uh smart thing we want to to enable this this feature and we want to make it simple 
very simple. Uh, I I've read the 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 advice from from Julian and from from the other guy and yeah, it's it's, it's very <clears throat> it's it's very interesting to limit the the num access and the check-ins of course so um, this morning i i started to 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 work in in the in in, in the parameter parametration of the of the model including uh an allowed uh, the num for <clears throat> bypass or, or or for allow only this 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 denom, denomination uh upgradable by by governance mm -hmm. so i think tomorrow or next week i will push more code uh, and will test in in this way yeah Make, keeping it simple and keeping it uh mm, only with uh with with few functions because uh, this is a very dangerous <laughs> future so we want to to stay safe mm -hmm. and the the um, <clears throat> the future of this of that, this model uh, i i don't know i i, I would uh, want to to share with the community or also because i think many many chains will will want it or something similar they are doing with talking factory or with cost ones etc but uh, in this in this way uh, everything is uh, simple because the idea is very simple move from the from the uh, user account to the to the account of the model of the bank model and burn the 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 coins mm -hmm. so mm, keeping this in mind uh, i think uh, we are going to try to to do something feasible great thanks for <laughs> that uh, explanation and for the module um i think it's a good idea um I'm not sure how. Um, so you want to put this uh, open source MIT license under under the SDK, or what's what's your idea just to um, have it accessible on on your GitHub? We we want to keep it with open source, some open source license because I think it's something that uh, anyone can do with with a bit of time. Uh, also, is based in. Uh, the, the, the beginning of, of everything of, of this idea bring brings to me by by two friends that are using ignite so why not why not mm -hmm. keep open uh, why not if if we have time or, or someone want to to help help us to to make a, a shareable model i i don't know if is if if it's possible to do or or not i don't know or i don't know if even uh, ignite could make a a such of uh, a plugin for i don't know this is because i want to keep it uh, simple because if you keep it simple you can export easily yes I agree. Yeah, um, there will definitely be um, an Ignite app that will make it easier to add or remove modules from your chain. Uh, this is still under development and will probably take uh, still a bit of time, but looks like a great candidate for such a for such an app. I don't know. I, I think it's 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 a, it's a great candidate, of course, to be because uh, when you um, when you are learning even you you need uh, also the that that possibility of of uh, even in in the tutorials it's a good uh, it's a good tutorial for understand 
who works the bank model, the, who to move the coins between uh, accounts. Why not? Good point. Yes, I agree. Nice. Thanks a lot. Bye. Thanks to you for the space to speak and explain. Yeah. I'm for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's nice to, I don't know if you remember, Rel, it's nice to have you back. Uh, I remember you from the days of Starport community halls. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I love Starport and Ignite because it's, it's a tool, always was a tool that uh, where, where you can start from zero and, and learn a lot and <clears throat> test and try your computer <laughs> and um, with uh, great environment, my um, Last week, I think my 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 partner Julian at Moner uh, was explaining about a graphical uh, UI for even create to 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 application that communicate. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's working in his free time because it saves us a lot of time. Yeah, it's great. I've sh I've shared it uh, in this call already. The uh, Ignite UI, and uh, thanks to Admona for making this public and MIT license. Um, I think it's a great idea. I think it um, looks amazing. So I hope people use it, and it's helpful to as many people as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. <laughs> thanks a lot, Raoul. Um, do we have more uh, comments or questions from from participants in this call? Can you share the the presentation later in the in the chat of Discord, please? Yeah, sure. But the presentation doesn't have too much. But yeah, um, it's more. Uh, um okay it's, it's like a it's, it's not yeah. too much content on here okay. um just helps me and you kind of see what i'm talking about at the moment but we will share the links um definitely um that i've shared around but um yeah this is um the ignite to wrap it up more or less the ignite version 28.3 last night yeah exactly uh very fresh um it allows you to um, scaffold consumer chains, um, which is experimental because um, the module is not yet 100% compatible with the Cosmos SDK version 0.50 onwards. And we have um, a Wasm app. The chain needs to be scaffolded with, with version 28.3 in order for the imports to be correct. But then you can use the Ignite Wasm app in order to add Wasm to your chain and then you can use um, the great resources by Confio, like Cosmos and Plus, to uh, compile and upload your first contracts. Yes. Yes, we are going to to play with that a lot. Great. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah, that's a, um, they also mentioned a lot of different repositories where uh, you can find different logic. Um, there's even its own repository about CBW20 tokens and how to work with those. Um, there's also standards around um, ICS tokens, so interchange standard tokens. Um, yeah, this is going to be exciting to explore with all of you in the coming weeks and months. Any questions or, or remarks? Michelle, did I forget something? No. I think we've already teased about the tutorial platform coming soon, so. <laughs> yes, in, uh, in the next two weeks, we should have it ready, and then you'll have access to more tutorials around WASM, around uh, Ignite in general, a couple of new use cases, maybe. 
um, that you can consider with, um, with Ignite. And yeah, let's see what you build with it. Yeah, and just uh, putting it out there to the folks here, uh, feel free to offer suggestions on how to run these calls. We'd love to have more people like you, Raul, Tosin, uh, pr providing updates on what you guys are doing. Um, so any any suggestions on just how we can have you more incorporated into uh, the feedback loops, that would be great. So that would be my only last uh, request is just how can we do a better job of hearing from you guys? And um, yeah. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, let's wrap it up then. Thanks a lot, everyone, for joining. And see you on Discord and next month. See you. Thanks. Bye-bye.